on to our last destination on the east of the Pripyat River, the town of Mashevi, which you can see is almost at the border of Belarus. Just by the side of the road, we notice uh, there's some kind of memorial over there in the distance. So, upon closer investigation, we can see it's another World War II memorial. Killed in the name of freedom and for the people of our country, I suppose it says, between 1941 and 1945. However, this place seems slightly more interesting to me. It's an old school building. Yeah, it's quite overgrown as you can see. Never mind that. Let's go around and just find another way to get in. Carrying a lot of gear like I do, a camera, tripod, backpack, doesn't really make it easier. Oh well, at last we're inside, right? Cabinet prophecy. What cabinet is this? Oh, oh, fuck. This is like a physics experiment thing. A lot of stuff. Holy shit. Yeah. Because it's a real wild place. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Far away from the normal tourist roads, that is. Some old dioscope slide, apparently. Not sure what exactly that is, but it's still in working order. On path, the. Yeah. Look at that. Battery. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> His formulas, holy shit. I was previously tortured with those too. I love this. Old generator. Oh, with tubes, even. Part of some microwave experiment there in the middle. I'm not sure what that is. Just there on the left, that wheel. I don't know. Well, it's probably a simple transformer, just uh, wired from copper. Self-made. Wow, oh, this is a pretty cool classroom. Some magnets for experiments. There are also some photos on my Flickr if you want to take a closer look. The link is in the video's description as usual. Summer bike come? What the fuck is that 2014 summer bike come all about? There's an old film. Was it towards the window? Oh, what does this say? To be honest, I don't really know. It's just too bad we have so few time on our hands because it will be dark in about an hour. I wish it could take about, I don't know, two or three hours to explore this place. But I guess I'll just have to come back, the usual. Mathematica. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh fuck. Dynamic formulas. <laughs> Seriously, everybody hates those at high school. Gas masks, random vinyls. Some writing on that board, which is probably a recent edition as well. Did you see this? There's shitloads of really old records. There's shitloads of really old record. Oh, what is it made of? It's not normal vinyl, it's like... Yeah, it, it's, it's old, it's for something like... Uh, Gramophone? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's cool. Yeah, it's the same. Shellac records, apparently. I'm too young for that. <laughs> Melodia. <laughs> it's a new. Yeah, well that's a vinyl as I know it. Oh my god, it's preparations from organs. Yeah, I know this, what is it? Pitch in Mochni. And then you color it with a special stain, and then you do this for a microscopy. Yeah, and that shit is apparently a fucking parasite. A liver fluke. Ugh. Let's just move on, shall we? Looks like geography. I never really liked that either. I really like this hallway, like how the paint peels off the walls and everything. Lots of junk in that room. Old vinyls again, but vinyl and not shellac. And yeah, books. And concrete. Some kind of atlas. Lots of maps from all around the world. Uh, just a global. I really hope some of my viewers have background info on, for example, this picture or this book again. This apparently is a sports diploma. And that um, says something about the superiority of Soviet schools. But maybe you guys know more than me. Oh, yeah, the GDR, <laughs> Deutsche Demokratische Republik. Yay, finally I can translate something for you guys. So the one on the left says a foreign language enriches the modern language, makes it more distinctive, flexible and expressive. And the one on the right says a foreign language is a weapon in the fight of life and who does not know a foreign language doesn't know his own. Seven. Well, I'm not gonna translate all of that. Oh, that's a history. Yeah. Practical linguistics in German for the fifth class, as far as I understand what's on there. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's first, ah, oh, yeah, it's first aid. Red Cross. Quarantäne. Quarantine. And bacteria. Awesome. Radiatia. Oh, look at this. It's on shielding of radiation. Uh, yeah. Beton shields this much. Gamma. Lead, steam, concrete. Neutrono. Concrete, soil, wood. Cabinet. Chemia. Mm. Chemistry. That's what it is. 
pictures of, uh, I don't know who these people are, but that is some kind of weird crude oil processing co collection, apparently. It's about petrol and kerosene and pure crude oil. Maybe some of you knows more. That would be cool. Strange statue. Don't know what the hell. Gas mask, as usual. Oh, it's modeled from human body, oh, but very broken. Oh, Ripki, Ripki something. What? No. No, it's Rishi. <laughs> that was just wishful thinking. Yeah, lovely Ribi. It's insect, insect preparation. And it even contains a life life. Kind of like ants. Oh, ants? Ants, yeah. Probably something that stinks cow. Look, there's something inside here. It's a, a mess full of dust. Moving right along, there's a periodic table on the left here. Oh, there's reaction tubes and everything. Fuck, what is this? What is this? Phenol... Phenol... Phtalin... Indicator. Oh, yeah. You put this in, in water and it turns... Uh, ah, phenyl... Uh, yeah. Phenylphtalin. Yeah. You can see if the pH value of water is yeah, yeah, acidic yeah. or... What the fuck is this? Styrol. Or something blue. I think it's a copper nitrate or something. Fuck. I prefer physics, but I like finding random chemistry. Magnesium oxide. Haha, <laughs> oil. Nice. <laughs> nice, a bottle of crude oil. Нефть сырая. Look, this is uh, the development of an, of an embryo. Well, time to move on again, just so we get a quick overview of everything this time. Gas mask filter. That's a gas mask storage. What the fuck? It's how to kill a snake with your hand. Military regulations of the armed forces of the SSSR. Heavy. Probably a fuse or something. Does anybody here know? Sadly, it's time to leave. Just for the usual recording, so background radiation levels, about 2 microsievert power, as you can see. Time for that bumpy ride home. Let's go through all those villages again. Well, not all for the video, it's a little bit too boring, but I just want to, to show you the general idea on how these roads look. I'm not too bad, but, uh, well, as my guide used to say, your ass will remember it. Isn't that a wonderfully creepy ride through abandoned villages just at the beginning of dusk? And dusk is the perfect time to see some animals. So, maybe... 
we'll encounter some nice animals. To me, wild animals are amongst the most creepy and weird things of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. You don't know if they're behaving normally, like these two moose. I think I should go around next time and try to collect some samples of, well, you know, poo, hair, whatever there is, and try to analyze it. Of course, a piece of meat would have been most interesting. And most tasty, too. Well, without a gun, no calling shotgun on that. 